hello there pisces welcome into the channel thank you for being here this is sage sunset healing tara and i have some messages for you today pisces so welcome in thank you for being here these are going to be general tarot card messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you Oops. so take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly all right thank you for coming in hit the like button please do share comment subscribe i appreciate your show of support on this channel on this journey all right so let's get into your messages there's some truth to be spoken someone wants to be clear maybe you want to talk to this queen of cups over here maybe this is your love or this is your, like a family a friend or someone you have an affectionate relationship um affectionate feelings for mosquito okay i feel like you may have a child or children or want to have children or you may see this person as something you want to have children with okay pisces um i do feel like i'm reading for pisces male energy so pisces like i said there's a secret here that you want maybe you want to speak the truth you could be feminine energy because this is your card the moon energy is pisces vibration but i feel like so I, I feel like you're holding on to a secret deep down something in a dark space of yours like i don't feel like you've ever said this to anyone really but it's almost like you feel something breaking down and it is time for you to speak the truth it's the energy of someone getting old and now they need to really tell the truth to their child of what really happened so it's not maybe you're not getting old but it's coming to that time something is ending a transition taking place maybe a relationship ended a connection something ended or, or like i said it's just coming to that time because something is cleaning up it's just that time it's really just that time this is the best time for you to speak this truth honestly this is how i feel maybe it's the time of year or it's just a time when somebody will be able to hear you because they, they like they, they a relationship ended or some connection ended and it's just the time now to really speak to this person but i feel like you have some hesitancy moving forward like i say you could have been hiding a secret pisces okay your obstacle energy is the two of swords the two of swords is my ninja vibration flexibility in mind flexibility in thought in emotions Tapping into your intuition as well, feeling like feeling through the dark, feeling. So I feel like you're trying to figure out how to say this. How do I speak this truth to this Queen of Cups over here that you're moving toward? This is somebody that you could be interested in. It could be a job. It could be love, like emotions. You're on the ball. You're like I feel like you're. What you want actually, Pisces, is to get going. Is to make this take this um, move toward this person. But you could be confused. Or you could be just having, you could have a lot of feelings. <laughs> but I feel like you will be victorious. Okay. That's how I feel. So let's see what we can clarify here. What is the tower energy? What has ended? The queen of pentacles. Could be a marriage to another person, an ex, a earth sign, a job, but something crashed and ended. I feel like something collided and burnt. Like the end of a relationship maybe you are free now pisces to go to this person or this person is free and you have it's like it's like the opportunity it's like um maybe you were best friends with someone and they broke up with their boyfriend you know what i mean and it's just this this is the opportunity for you to say how you feel okay now what is the moon card for pisces energy here you're not something you, you're not speaking only you and the divine know this and and you feel like other people might know this the nine of pentacles i feel like you feel like uh you know like the animals would know what you're going through or like the dogs like the animals would understand like they alone know just things that won't be able no human beings know basically what you what you are experiencing it's a deep secret and i just feel like you want to share it with this queen of cups over here tell me about the queen of cups dreams wishes dream come true magnificent spectacular what's that um this is the queen of cups all right before we do that 
let's continue to see your outcome pisces your energy right now is the nine of cups so i feel like you feel contentment you feel happy about what you have going on here um despite the the what is that something maybe the lack of intimacy but i feel like it is intimacy that you want maybe you're about to talk to this person or speak some truth and to, to connect to create that intimacy and you're following in your intuition and uh, like i say your emotions so this could be just desires feelings wanting a family or community hmm. i feel like it's powerful what, look at this the magician in your home energy so i feel like this, you could be using magic or in your home like maybe in your temple or even in just in your environment whatever this applies for work or relationship or just uh, a personal reading for how you're dealing with yourself maybe you need to be truthful with yourself okay it's like something ended like even in your mind space your mental space like a truth has been revealed something has been shattered you know like you learned some truth and it's and 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 that's going to cause you to move make a move movement or take action create magic magician energy your hopes is that something could work out well quickly for you like it would happen that fast but i feel like you could also fear it being destructive and not working out in your favor and the result is the two of pentacles vibration which talks about re maybe receiving receiving wealth receiving balance well-being feeling of well-being or money here this is the only pentacles card that come out so i feel like we could be we could be talking about money a little bit of money energy here too but i feel like it's major majorly talking about energy well-being feelings picking yourself back up so you're working for a transformation here to pick yourself back up financially and you hope it will turn um work out swiftly for you it's an opportunity that you want to take hold of i feel yeah so i feel like you are introspecting you're diving deep in yourself now to to, to figure out how to come up with the the, the prop the right words or the proper words to say to this queen of cups over here okay so i feel that you're also you're the magician too that means you work with the elements water fire earth air and you're what are you doing maybe you're trying to get someone back or get someone's attention or this could be you're up against another person but the outcome here is you're coming you're coming into the queen of cups are you moving toward the queen of cups with the truth or some intuition or someone you've been dreaming about in your heart space what is the two of pentacles the outcome for pisces reading what is the two of pentacles energy here the world energy a change is a coming oh no 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 is that right what is it two of pentacles the dream come true energy water sign oh my god king of cups the dream come true is <laughs> let me just look for real i feel like maybe you've been praying that some something ends or something come some connection ends with someone else so that you can have your dream come true or you're praying that something starts picking up speed again maybe something having to do with finances so that you can see a dream come true maybe having to do with love here or family home um praying i feel like wishing praying and hoping for that kind of change to take place and it will because the dream come true comes and then we have the, the king of cups so are we talking about soulmate energy here following in your heart space eight of cups energy true love this could be true love oh my god you may be approaching someone and or someone may be approaching you angelic vibration but it's promising true love here 
Okay, look, someone is moving. This is swift movement toward maybe toward a water sign, or it's two people that's moving. Two people moving away, moving on, or moving toward each other. Okay, but someone definitely moved. The swords vibration or some mental shift. Maybe someone wanted clarity, Pisces. So if it's not including another person, it's just that you wanted some clarity and you had to really tap into your powers with the magician energy that you're working. Probably now. Right now you're in Nine of Cups vibration, which feels like you're just you're happy or you're working with your emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're doing some things right now magically. And it could be about manifesting love. Um it could be about messages or something about your emotions changing, following in your heart space. You're not taking action yet because you're thinking. The fortune is the king of cups and marriage, the hierophant, the, the strength. So King of Cups, Pisces vibration, you may be looking at us, the Leo energy, someone that you love. Maybe you want to get married to this person. Maybe you feel like it would be a blessing. You feel in your soul like this connection could be fortunate. Maybe you'd like to marry this person, have children, start a family like I was saying initially. Um, the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. About this Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. So the Queen of Cups to Pisces is the King, the Queen of Wands. Maybe someone from your past that you're used to date. But we have Fire Sign, Water Sign. The Queen of Wands is very, very attractive. I'm not sure if the Queen of Wands is looking at the Queen of Cups, but it appears like Queen of Wands is like preying Queen of Cups here and wants to approach Queen of Cups. I don't know, but that's two same sex relationship. That has, you know. Um, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles once more. I said earlier. And it clarified what? It clarified something earlier, the Ten of Pentacles. It clarified the Queen of Cups earlier, did it? Yeah? Fortune and abundance and blessings and gains. Dreams coming true. Wishes being granted. I feel like that's how magic, like you seeing this person, Pisces, look. Marriage. Wanting a union with this. And like for some people, it's a business, it's a job, it's work. Or it's just something that you're passionate about that you're chasing and wanting to align with. For some people, Pisces, you're, it's really you and your internal self maybe working out. <sighs> working out your own em emotions as you release something to make way for new, for change. And for some of you, this is like you literally want to marry someone. This could be a connection between fire sign and water sign. Powerful. I've been seeing this for you, Pisces. Marriage and home. You're going to make it across the finish line, I feel. So what is the tower card? So some something ended. A past connection. Look, the king of cups comes out once more. Maybe it's your relationship that ended Pisces. You know what I mean? Or this is your soulmate. This is like someone you were with before. And um, it's like, no, you're getting the opportunity to date this person again. But there's past love here. Maybe it ended with the past person. You know, maybe the past person was Virgo, our earth sign. Oh. Okay, so I feel like maybe you feel like there will be proper balance between fire, emotions, and passion in the alignment between water and fire energy here. It's like you think it's a fortunate thing. You are enticed. By this, by the, just by even the thought of this connection with this person that you are really attracted to. So let's see, what is the Ace of Swords? Oh my God, the Page of Swords. So it could be news, they're going to deliver some news. Typically the Page of Swords is bad news, they say. But um, the Page of Swords for me is, is gone with the wind, fabulous. You're gonna be standing up for yourself, speaking up for what you believe in, standing up for your rights, your rights, your rights, your soul rights. Okay, maybe it's just speaking how, you, like, what you feel is right, like, I, I, like getting it off of your chest page. I want energy. Um, look, the King of Cups once more wants to come out. So it is you that have something to say, some truth to speak on to Queen of Cups here. <sighs> the 
you want to give yourself you want to offer your love yeah i feel like you want to offer your love to this person but are they paying attention no i feel like this person oh my goodness this person could be going through a lot emotionally working on healing three of swords nine of swords this queen of cups energy maybe that's why you want to take this powerful force of love to this queen of swords because the ace of, the ace of swords is a powerful force of love higher consciousness you know what i mean christ consciousness deliverance i feel like you want to deliver this sword maybe to help free or heal this queen of cups in some way shape or form that your heart wants to reach out to this person if you feel like you're following your heart space to make some magic work so i could feel like pisces the potion you're working up or this magic you're working up in home here is to take to this queen of cups maybe to help her get through whatever situation she's experiencing maybe she's experiencing um loneliness barrenness maybe she wants children maybe she has spiritual children maybe that means something for some of you we just saw the four of cups maybe she's single she's celibate but dang king of cups loves coming out here with, with queen of cups i'm gonna let him stay right there any other messages between the king and queen of cups loves so many vibration i feel like both of you love yourself you've been working on healing and you really want to approach or this person wants to approach you pisces so let the messages apply how they may for you so it's either this person look wants to approach you and there's someone from your past maybe you've met this person before okay longing for past happiness but you feel this connection this deep soul feeling for this person both of you are literally soulmates um and you are moving toward this person here this person could be queen um water sign or fire sign hmm. oh my god your only intention i feel like you feel like you're going to bless this person that you can't wait pisces to to I can't help but wait till you get back with him and it don't change. I can't help but wait till you see that we're made ain't the same. I can't help but wait till you see you for what you really are. Baby, boy, you are a star. And I can't help but wait. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to make love too. <laughs> I feel like this person wants you to be liberated in love. They just want to free you, want to exalt you, want to put you on a pedestal. Or this is how you feel about this Queen of Cups. Look, soulmate vibration, two of cups, wanting to approach someone to say something. Fire sign, water sign once more. Um, this person could be fire, water, cusp energy. But I'm feeling powerful fire water energy here. It has to do with money and love Pisces. You know what? I'm going to leave your messages here. I love you. Thank you for coming through. And I will see you in the next reading. So, well, for next week. All right. So this is it for this week. So hit the like button. Do please do so on your way out, Pisces. Show your girl some support. Okay. And I'll see you in the next reading. Much love to you. Take care. Bye. That's the energy of your reading. Some truth. I feel like you are so powerful. You went with some truth to this person who could be water sign, a fellow water sign, or a truth was revealed to you. You saw through the blinders. I feel like you helped this person to break this relationship down. You know what I mean? It's like the truth that came into this relationship shone some light, and this, and then um, maybe the Queen of Cups decided to end this relationship because something was revealed, which was this truth about what was going on in this relationship. I feel like the person that this Queen of Cups was living with or residing with or working with, whatever this is, this person, they weren't really true. They didn't exist. I feel like this person lived alone, but for some reason there was two of them, even though she was alone. As if this person wasn't really there. It was fake. They were only pretending to be there. And you saw that. That's the truth that you saw, Pisces, in this connection. This could be a, um, your energy living with someone that was fake. It literally feels like this person was living alone. I swear. She, she cooked, even though this other person was there with her. She cooked alone. She, this person was just a figure or like a figment of her. He wasn't there. Mm -mm. She thought she was in a... It's like she, she was having a relationship with a fucking ghost, bruv. You know what I mean? And it's like she thought it was real. And he knew it wasn't real. He wasn't that... It was like she was in a relationship with a... a, a, a it's not a simulation. What is that thing? Uh, um... 
Uh, oh my God. When you're, when, um, the light, the, the, it's that the person is not really there. I'm going to have to edit this so bad. <sighs> the word is on the tip of my tongue. That the person is not really there. It's just being beamed through light. What the fuck? You know, like when you watch those technological movies and, and, and a person can show up, but they're just showing, showing up through the computer screen and, and the, what is the word? It's like they're being projected there, but they're not physically there through light energy. So it's not real. Like you were just having a relationship with a computer. You know, the energy of Simone where, where this, the movie Simone, where this man had a relationship with a robot, but the best, but the thing is that robot was physically there. This person was like what the fuck is that word they weren't there like i said it feels like the energy of um just a computer light thing you were literally alone i, I still remember that word for you pisces you were um i want to say a trajectory maybe that could work you know it, it wasn't real at all you were alone. This are not you, this person. So the truth shown and this person got to see that this person that they were dealing with wasn't true. They were only there for TV or they were there for the show or they were there to make it appear as if cancer had a counterpart or they were there to help cancer to make certain decisions. But it was literally like cancer. What am I talking about cancer? I think it's because I do cancer readings. Um, my channel is based about cancer readings, but I'm seeing this queen of cups here. It could be cancer, but this person was living alone and thought that there was someone with them and there was not. I, I apologize if you weren't hearing me clearly before because the microphone was hidden. Um, sorry about that. Um, so now the moon card comes in. The moon card felt like something. It's a feeling or message, information, intuition. And it, it deliberately moved into the Queen of Cups space so that she could look up around dinner, the dinner table at this person that she was eating with and realizing, oh, he's not really here for real. She could pass it, her hands through him because it's just a trajectory. He wasn't there. He was there for the show. You know, maybe can't. Maybe this person was being watched. And you, you, you went and brought the truth to this person, which is so beautiful. And then we have, um, so the situation ended, but still this person is still sitting here thinking of what happened. This person is trying to, ex to study about this connection and this living situation, okay? Because it's like, what the heck, what was happening in that house that I was living in? Um, but the clarity is coming through the knight of swords here down here something something is changing swiftly you know it's like this queen of this queen of cups is about to get some answers that she's been asking about um and it's coming in so quickly all right and then we have on the bottom row here uh, someone protecting their emotions, I feel, having secrets. So it's about secrets and the truth, really, and magic and removing the veil over someone's eyes, from someone's eyes, Pisces, so that they can see that the person that they've been living with is a fucking not there. It's so creepy, in a sense, to think that this person was living with a trajectory like this. It's almost, you know the movie, um, The Truman Show, where... um. Truman's wife wasn't real, except she was physically there. But this feeling I'm having, this person is not physically there. But the Truman show, it was all a setup for him. So I feel like this person living in this house with this trajectory, I'm not sure if I'm still using, I'm still not sure if I'm using the proper word. But um, it's like uh, this, this other person, it's like this whole setup. I feel like there could have been cameras watching you. For real, for real, because this this trajectory or simulation was only around you you were the only real person here the queen of cups was the only real person real person in the situation so so many things happened queen of cups is probably left stunned by all that's been happening but the magician came through i feel like pisces represents magician powerfully here and has shown some light you know it, uh, it's almost like magician magician commanded that let like, truth be fucking spoken here the truth be shown like let there be light you know you know about all the deception that was going on someone is going to catch up a message you may receive a message 
or something about emotions. There could be something coming across the sea too on the waters, um, coming moving toward this Queen of Cups vibration here, Pisces. The Queen of Cups can also be your energy because this water sign, okay? As you sit here, surrounded by love, I feel like you're so beautiful. Water surrounds you, emotions, you have emotional support. There's also something in the spirit, I don't know, it's almost like you have children in the spirit world. So maybe that means something for you. All right, leaving these messages here, thank you so much for coming through. And I do hope you found some that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. Something about your, your family to your roots. And money, investing, saving, and possession, and something about the world. So there's a lot of changes coming around, Pisces. Following in your heart space, keep your vision alive. Much love to you. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.